Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Salt and Light. Uh, my name's Kev and uh, I'm building a 47 foot Dudley Dix design catamaran here in Japan. It's a cold, wet and gloomy day here in uh, Toyama today. Uh, so I thought I'd take the opportunity. Uh, it's getting close to the end of the year now. Uh, so I thought uh, I'd take you for a bit of a, a look around to show you where uh, I'm up to uh, since starting this build uh, at the end of July this year. Let's go and have a bit of a look around and have a talk about what's happened this year uh, in the last few months and uh, show you uh, what's happening. So I just wanted to take a few minutes just to talk about the, some of the things that have happened uh, here at the boathouse over the last uh, few months. And it all started back in July when we took delivery, when everything was finally uh, delivered. Uh, just after that, we had a opening ceremony. We invited the governor of uh, Toyama, plus uh, a few other dignitaries came along, uh, some business leaders, quite a number from the yacht club uh, came uh, to support. It was a great time. Uh, it was a really hot day, it was very hot. Uh, but it was a, a good start to, to the project. And, uh, so we started building uh, quite late in July and uh, we've gone from there. Now we've had quite a bit of media interest since then. Uh, there was a number of newspapers there on that day for the opening ceremony uh, and some TV coverage as well. We've had um, uh, Cuzzy, the uh, national sailing magazine here in uh, Japan. They ran an article on the project as well. Uh, in October, um, a lady came knocking on the door and uh, wanted to talk to me and because uh, she didn't have any English and, and my Japanese is not, not, not fantastic. So we're, we're talking and trying to... Uh, she wanted to ask if, this is my understanding, that there were a couple of cyclists riding around the Toyama Bay uh, cycle route and they wanted to drop in and have a look in the boathouse. Oh, that's, that's fine, no problems. Now, <laughs> uh, something obviously got lost in the translation along the way. And uh, I, I try to avoid using uh, Google Translate uh, as much as I can. We had a, we had a bit of an incident with uh, Google Translate, or not was it Google, tra one of the translators. Uh, we had one of the uh, guys in the yacht club here uh, helping one day and uh, one of our friends who, um, who works uh, sort of just across the road, uh, she was uh, doing a tea ceremony and my wife Meg uh, does the same uh, style of tea ceremony so we were interested to go. And so um, we purchased tickets uh, for that and uh, my friend brought the ticket over uh, to me and was trying to tell me and explain to me when the tea ceremony was and what time uh, we had to be there. And uh, the older uh, friend who had the translator, he said, oh, no, no we'll, we'll, we'll use the translator. Now, this was a charity event. The tea ceremony was a charity event. So she spoke into this translator. Now, my understanding of what I thought she was saying was that, first instance, it's a charity event, and then the tea ceremony will be starting at 2.30. That's what I thought she said. The translator said, before the tea ceremony, there will be an erotic film. <laughs> and we just, <laughs> my friend was, was, was horrified. Uh, that's how it had kind of been translated and, it's, and it wasn't what she was saying. So translators can get it horribly wrong, horribly wrong. Uh, so just a, a note of caution if, you, if you're planning on travelling to Japan and using, uh, using Google Translate, yeah, be very careful. Very careful. But anyway, this, um, this lady came uh, and about the cyclists uh, and they, she said, oh, they're coming next week. I thought, oh, okay, that's all right. And so I was here and, and had a friend here and we just finished having lunch and 
Uh, next thing I know, there's a, there's a knock on the door. And this TV crew comes in. And I... I <laughs> yeah, what are you here for? <laughs> you know, And uh, they, they wanted to get some footage of me uh, working on the boat. And I thought, OK, well, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, the next thing, uh, and then they said, oh, the cyclists will be here in about, uh, about an hour. And so it turns out that the, um, the cyclists, one of them is quite a famous comedian uh, here in Japan, and uh, the other one is a uh, local uh, TV announcer, and they are promoting the Toyama uh, cycling route uh, around the bay. And so it was really interesting. We ended up with about a three and a half minute uh, slot on uh, national TV. So that was, that was a bit of fun, a bit of interesting. We've had uh, uh, college students through uh, having a look at uh, the boat and, and the procedures, uh, the building procedures and things like that. So look, there's lots of, lots of fun things happen, not just about building a boat. So. And some great guys, and, and I'll, I'll flick to another clip here of filmed uh, a few weeks ago when the weather was a little bit nicer, just expressing uh, some of my thoughts about the guys that I have and uh, this whole project. Uh, so let's have a look at that now. Oh, good morning, guys. It's an absolutely beautiful morning here in Toyama. I just I was just on my bike and uh, riding down to the boathouse. And I thought I'd just stop and. Um, express a few thoughts uh, I just want to say how blessed I am to uh, be living here in this uh, beautiful town of Toyama uh, and also doing what I, I love doing and, and that is building uh, salt and light uh, it's just been a, it's just a real joy but one of the things I, I, I wanted to try and achieve uh, by building uh, salt and light and starting this project here uh, was to be able to connect uh, with the community. Uh, anyone who knows me uh, knows uh, how much I like to have a bit of a chat. So uh, the thought of being locked away in a shed for uh, by myself building a bay wasn't didn't sound like that much fun. Uh, so I've opened it up to invite guys uh, to come and be a part of the project uh, if they want to get if they want to help uh, or just come and have a look. And I gotta say, I, I've, I've met so many really interesting guys. There's too many to name, but it, it's, a, it's a real pleasure and a joy uh, to be able to meet each and every one of them, for them to be part of the project, whether it's in just looking or, um, or supporting the project, or actually coming and, and helping out uh, with the build. I just gotta, I gotta say again, you know, I'm a, um, yeah, I'm a blessed man to be able to be doing what I'm doing uh, and where I'm doing it. All right, so let's uh, let's go for a little bit of a, uh, a walk around and I'll show you where uh, where we're up to uh, with this build. So starting with the uh, starboard hull, we have got uh, the inner uh, skins uh, on uh, up to uh, bulkhead uh, deep, and the skin is ready to go on the front section of the boat so uh, I need to do a little uh, bit of work at the front here before we can put this skin on uh, so the beam blocks are in and uh, which will be used to attach um, the uh, four beam to and also I've just put a block a support block in here uh, we want to run a pad eye uh, just on the back side of uh, bulkhead A for the prodder. So just thinking ahead uh, now to get that done. The inner skins for the porthole, they are all fitted, uh, ready to go. Holes uh, ready for the screw holes uh, to go in. This one is, I haven't fitted it yet, I've just got it glued together, but it's ready to go as well. Uh, so hopefully be getting on to that Yeah, coming up probably the week after Christmas now So I've got almost all of the radius chines uh, done. I've got a few here ready to be uh, cut up uh, and 
and there is some uh, some radius chines down here that have already been cut, uh, ready to go. One of the other things that I wanted to um, uh, address today, you know, guys, we're, we're not that great at, at looking after our health. And as you would know if you've watched episode one, we came here initially to look after um, Meg's mum and her health. Uh, a few months after us arriving here, Meg's younger brother uh, was struggling with his health. We, we ended up taking him to the hospital um, where he was uh, diagnosed with a, a stage four cancer. You know, we, 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 we knew he hadn't been well for quite a while and in 2019 we actually tried to encourage him to go to a hospital get some help. And he'd been struggling with managing his diabetes for quite a while and we just thought it was a complication of that. But he, he sort of didn't want to and get uh, any treatment. And as a result, he's ended up with, uh, with an undiagnosed cancer. And unfortunately, uh, and sadly, um, he passed away last month, uh, which is, was quite sad. <clears throat> but men, you know, take the time. If, you, if there's something, if you notice that there's something not quite right, get checked out. Doesn't hurt, you know, you're not a hypochondriac if you, you know, just if you, if you go to the doctor, you know, it, it's okay. You know, get yourself checked out. And especially as you get older, I know for myself, you know, you know, I have to do uh, the yearly blood tests and, uh, and all the other tests that go along uh, with someone, um, you know, in their 60s. And, uh, you know, you've got to be careful. You know, my father died uh, from a heart attack at a, uh, quite a young age. And so I've been quite careful about managing um, and my symptoms, any, any chest pain, things like that, make sure I get it checked out. So I just want to encourage you, you know, uh, look after yourself, okay? It's important. So you've probably seen these before. I've, I've got the cradles made. Uh, for uh, when we go to roll the holes over, so they're ready to go. I've also put together the first keel uh, and just did a test fit on it. And there's a, just a quick, quick uh, clip of that just sitting on top of the hull. Still needs a little bit of uh, adjustment fitting, but uh, that's ready to go. And the skins for the uh, keels are there as well. It's really a matter of just checking to make sure that it was going to fit okay. Now that I know it, uh, how it goes and uh, fits onto the boat, I can start putting the stringers on, getting the outer skins uh, ready for fitting. And just in wrapping up, I want to wish you all, um, you and your families, a, a safe and happy Christmas and a great new year. Uh, I think 22 should be a better year than 21, hopefully. And I, for me, it's going to be exciting as we progress with this build. I'm hoping that towards the end of March, uh, we will be in a position to be able to roll the holes over and then start looking at building the bridge deck. Uh, so that should be an exciting time. Uh, again, Merry Christmas, uh, have a great year, and we will see you next year.